Hello everyone, welcome back to Mozzie Road. We are at this place called Kamsley Hill City Farm. There, we, there, we are going to do lots of things. There's literally a tractor over there and there are so many things behind us. And we are going to go on a very fun ride, so stay tuned. Look over there, there's a bread. And then over right there, you see... Oh, it went away. Look. That is very loud.
What's that? It's a rooster or a chicken or a turkey. That one's a turkey. This can be a chicken or a rooster. What's that? What is that? That's a peacock. It's a peacock? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 
Yeah. 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 Sheep here, they're pretty relaxed sheep. They've uh, done the dog show quite a few times, so they know they're going to know me. They know you guys out in the crowd as well, so they're pretty relaxed, okay? They're not going to move too quick on us today. And you can see it doesn't matter where I go. Uh, it is an echo to bring those sheep to me, so the sheep's going to follow me. He's going to push them. Which means he's going to make sure he's on the opposite side for most of the time. So, Parts of the sheep. Sheep. Now that Benny, my name is Ryan, I'm one of the shearers here on the farm. But before I bring out a sheep to shear for you, there's going to be a few pieces of equipment that I'm going to need. All right, and the first I just want my feet here. So you take a look at my shoes. All right. These are certainly not my going out shoes, they're right, they're called moccasins, they're made out of the sheep's wool, super super shiny. Alright, but I'm not wearing them because they're comfy, to pay the sheep's wool, sheep for sheep, more money you can make them. So definitely don't want to use these anymore. They are certainly still used um, across Australia and across the world as well, if uh, you have electricity to you, alright. If you're in a higher altitude area and you don't want to take as much wool off. So they're still quite versatile, right? But for day to day shearing, alright, this is what we're shearing with at the moment. Yeah, sheep comes. Yeah, got a real big one today. So, folks, this here is Lil Bart. Would everyone like to say good day, Bart? Does Bart look happy to be here? Okay, but I can say that Bart is quite happy, and that's because all of his. Around the edges of the fleece, and we peel off 
any clump, so I'm just gonna have a good look at that. All right, and what we're gonna test for is strength in our wool. We want a nice white wool so we can dye it into lots of different colors. Okay, and we want lots of crimps in our wool. The more crimps you have and the closer they are together, the higher quality the wool tends to be as well. The softer things we can make out of it, all right? Little bar. The record for the fastest shoe in the world is 37.9 seconds. By the shocked places, I must have been very, very close, eh? All right. The most sheep shorn in one day, folks, is 731 sheep by one person in about nine hours' time. All right, it is a tough job to be a shearer. Money a shearer gets in return. Would anyone like to guess how much money I might have made shearing bar today? Have guess yet? $2,000. Two dollars or two thousand? Two thousand. Two thousand. Just tell me when you have some sheep. I'll happily shear for two thousand. But it is a lot less than two thousand. I guess. All right, we're getting closer. All right, less than ten. Three point five. You're a spot on. Let's see the show floor. All right, it is three dollars and fifty cents per sheep, folks. That is how much we can make. All right, but that is the end of our shearing show. Thank you for coming along. Our next show is going to be at the Wild Talk Down Children's Playground. Starts about 2 o'clock today. All right, but I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, folks. Take care. I'll see you next time. Thank you. I actually get most of the boy content from these leaves. So we do look to see to make sure that they have consumed most of the tip, just to make sure that they have had their water. So, you this, it's their food, it's their home, and it's their water. So that is very, very important to remember. Now, like I said, these guys are the only mammal that can eat eucalyptus. However, these guys are a very special. Yeah, they make it hard to eat. Well, here's that, hey? There we go. So this is called a kitten. So baby rabbits. Everyone thinks they're called bunnies, but they're actually called kittens. Yeah. So we can't let you hold this one because he's very wiggly oh, and he does scratch. So just be careful not to pat him near his mouth because they can bite. They are so cute. Fluffy. But they're not a great pet for little kids. Yeah, because they're like messy. Well, they bite, they scratch, and they're very nervous. And if you some if something if you pick that rabbit up and it scratches you, what are you gonna do? You're gonna drop it, aren't you? And when they get dropped, their backs get broken and they're not very, they're not very hard wearing animals. So, plus they don't like hot weather. Yeah. Cats, I mean, cats are a good pet as long as you keep them inside. Special feathers, or this is called down, but when they're a bit bigger, they'll have a special little thing on their body that has oil and they use their little bill to spread the oil over their feathers to keep them waterproof because ducks like to swim, don't they? Yeah. Now, one thing we mustn't do when we go to a duck pond is feed them bread. Yeah. Does bread, well, does bread grow on trees? No. It's not growing in the bush, does it? So it's not good for feeding our duckies. So the best thing, if you want to feed your duckies in a duck pond, take some frozen peas. Oh, that's the end of this video. We had a lot of fun uh, at the um, Calms, uh, Calms the, uh, Hill City Farm. And uh, we, we, we played on the playground, we ate a popsicle, we had lots of fun, and even more. Oh, well, that's it for today. We'll see you next time in my new video. Bye!